Good morning, good morning, good night, and good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. Hope you're enjoying your day or your morning. It's um, nine o'clock here in Australia. I've got a late pool today, so pour at 9.30. I'm helping these guys that I helped the other day. Um, I only helped them once before, but we're doing a little driveway and a little back patio, I think. So we'll go and check it out. But I hope you're enjoying all the episodes lately. Thanks for all the new followers on Facebook and on um, YouTube. I really appreciate it, guys. And uh, I like all, love all the comments. Everyone's appreciating all the help I'm giving them. Especially young guys. Appreciating learning how to do something. I know there's a lot of bosses out there that don't teach people. But sometimes you haven't got time to teach people. Like It's not much nice time in concrete sometimes. So don't, don't be hard on your bosses that they're not teaching you. They've just got no time. They don't want to lose their job. They don't want to lose the concrete. And cost them a lot of money, so um, yeah. So um, chin up, and let's go. Let's go get this day started. What day is it? It's Thursday. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Into it. All right, guys. This is what we're doing today. This little driveway. A little bit. Is this broom finished in it? Finished, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We're just able flex in here. Just saying. Look how bad this shed slab is. We've got the blue line going there, and it's fucking. It's straight, and the top of it ain't straight. <laughs> Is it? No, it's terrible, isn't it? Oh my god, terrible, Muriel. And then we're going to do this little one around here too. This little section. So, let's see what we can get for you guys to show you today. Enjoy. Alright guys, we got concrete. It's coming around the corner. Yeah, I put on golf gears a bit while this one's going on. It's a bit quiet. None of the boys are talking. <laughs> That's Leon there. He's um spreading one side and I'm spreading the other side. He actually got the harder side than I did. <laughs> I picked the good side. We're using a laser to get the height for this one. We're just putting a laser on the boxing on the outside and then getting that same height in the middle. And as we went down the bottom, we actually um, V'd it in a little bit as well. So that's why sometimes we, we couldn't use a, a 20 foot or 16 foot rod across the whole thing because sometimes we put V's in them and we put a, like a rise in the center so the water falls both ways. They're not always just dead flat. I'm just bullfighting here. The mud's pretty nice. It's really, it's actually, it's really good for what we're doing. It's dry, but it's wet enough to move around. Closes up really good. When you're doing it on the hill, you want to go back up the hill. We can't really go sideways on this one anyway. There's fence and shit in the way. You want to take it really slow and keep it flat. Try to keep your bullfight flat as you can. What I mean about flat, see the nose of the bullfight right now? You try to keep it close as you can to the concrete. You don't need to lift it up. If you lift it up, you flick rocks up, you put little ripples in it all the way along. And then later on when the guys are trying to finish it, there's ripples all in it, you try to get them out. It's like your mag float. When you mag float, you hold it nice and flat. And you just rub it over. That's what the bullfight is, like a massive mag float. Our screeds are like a massive mag float. You hold it flat, it will close up. You hold it on the edge, you'll rip it up. You notice later on, the steeper it gets, I only go up and take it off. This one was a bit far to take off because we'd done a, a few bays before I started bullfighting. So I could only reach all the way to the top. It'll be clear, you, when you're on a hill, you bullfight back down the hill, you can actually pull it all down and put cracks and tears all the way in it, all the way back from behind your bullfight. So you gotta be very careful when you're bullfighting down a hill. You should only sort of bullfight up the hill, really. <coughs> Pardon me, that was a bit rude. <laughs> anyway, I'm pretty sure I'm nearly finished here. You're gonna see a bit of screed in a moment of me and Leon side by side and a bit more bullfighting. 
on this job too. We we had two brooms on the job and we got the shit broom to do the driveway and Leon got the good broom at the back. And we didn't get the good broom until right near the end. <laughs> but it turns out pretty good anyway. So it was a good job. All right, I'll leave you there. Enjoy. Done that part so far. Four five off. Leon's on this side. I'm on this side. Nice easy day. Cruisy so far. Been going this shit this time. I'll spread it out. Let's go. Yeah. 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 Bye bye.
Well, guys, it's quarter past 11, and I got the driveway in. Just cleaning it all up, but, but it put some edges on it right now. The boys are at the back doing the next little bit. Just had to do the wings and stuff. Just a bit wet still, but they're going all right. Um, yeah. But overall, that's pretty good so far. I have to put the helicopter on it today. Not stick trail in this. Fog that. But, um, just put the helicopter on it and um, broom finish it, and she should be good. All good, Leon? Yeah, mate, all, all good. good. All right. I'm, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna run the edges down this and I'll come over. Okay. All right. Well, it's 12 o'clock now. An hour later. I've done all the edges. Just done the edges up a bit. First hit of the edges. I haven't done it again yet. And I'm um, just, yeah, it's a bit too wet still, look. Very wet. Very wet. So I'm just gonna have to wait. I'm gonna hit it with the helicopter, so. Just wait till it dries right up and step on it and just break it down, stick trail it. Broom it out. Love the broom jobs. Can't complain there. Right, I'm gonna rest. Chill out. Oh, I love it when the boss brings a smoko. Oh, good <laughs> stuff, mate. Good shit. Okay, guys, I just stick trail that front bit. Got all that nice. And now this bit's going off here. It's going off here, but it's not going off up there. So I'm gonna take be in a weird position, I reckon. But we'll be right. We'll work it out. Let's put the chopper on. All right, just go over here with the chopper. All over here, I'll just show you a bit of the top there, no good yet. We'll just give a stick trail now and see what it looks like. Give it a broom before it gets too dry. Alright right, guys, she's getting all broomed off. The last little bit was in the shade. She's going down. It was a bit of a pretty good job. There was shade over there, shade up here. It went hard down here. Went good down there. Like, yeah. Bit of a nightmare, but we got there. And now we've got a good broom now too. Leon was hiding a good broom around the back of the house <laughs> for himself. Look at that. Look at how much nicer that is. With that broom. Ah. Oh. Rip it out, do it again, let's go. <laughs> we got the wrong broom. It's all about the broom sometimes. Like that. Fucking beautiful. I'm just not quite long enough. I won't have to worry about tools for a while, so lately I had to. And one thing I forgot is a good broom makes a big difference. <laughs> Next time. Nice to finish, send me another fucking broom. Send me five of the camps. Five of the same ones. <laughs> the yeah. Oh good, it's all going again. I run out of memory a lot, so. Uh. But yeah, she's done. It's beautiful. Look at how much nice that is. <laughs> awesome. Nice work, Leon. See you on the next job. Another 10 years' time, eh? <laughs> Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Alright guys, that's it for my day. It's 1.30. We started at 9.30. I'm not sure how long it took, but um, yeah. We had the real thick broom to start with, and then we just got Leon's good broom here that they had at the back. We didn't know. But um, yeah, it ended up being good anyway, so. Beautiful day. Beautiful day. Thanks, mate. Good work. Another one done for you, hey? See, the builders do concreting. They get the concreter to come in and help them. <laughs> All right, guys, that was a short little episode. I had to do a lot of work then, so um, I couldn't be mucking around too much. We couldn't be putting the camera out. It went off pretty quick. Like We didn't start till 9.30, and it's pretty hot here. But there's like a bit of shade at the back there. There's a bit of shade over there, so that wasn't going off. But the, the plus load went off faster than the first load. So you just got to watch out for that sometimes. You got to keep your eye on the shit. So. But anyway, I hope you liked. hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next episode. Hopefully the next one will be bigger. If you share a video, leave a comment. That would be awesome. Bye, guys. Have fun. And send us your video, Australia's Best Concreter. Come on. A few people have sent videos in so far. I'm sure that you're the best concreter. You always think you're the best concreter. Well, tell me. Show me that you're the best concreter. And we only wanted to see normal slabs to start with. No exposed, no stamps, just normal slabs. And then we'll do one for exposed, and we'll do one for stamps later on in the future, if it goes good. All right. See you all next time. Bye-bye. Well, my little clip. We just stripped it all. She's all stripped, all cleaned up. Packing them up. Take the helicopter up. And we're going on.